a look at this. This big gator taking neighbors by surprise. The 11 footer was found lurking in someone's backyard. It happened along Lake Richmond Drive in Orlando. And you can see houses sit right next to a small lake. It's a little more than a mile from First Baptist Church of Orlando. News 6 says Nadine Giannis is live in the neighborhood tonight. And Nadine, this is not the first time a gator has been trapped there. Neighbors say that they're actually used to this. At one point, they saw a 14 foot gator out of this little Lake Richmond here. So much so that they have put up fences in their backyards to keep the gators out. They also have FWC's phone number on hand, and that's exactly who they called when a gator crept up in the backyard right next door. Oh my God. You could hear our own news photographer T. Taylor's reaction as Don Ferguson shows us the 11 foot 3 inch gator caught in his neighbor's backyard this morning. Whoa, great day. You know, you know, it's so big. It just I couldn't move. I just, you know, I seen the water shaking and I said, oh, we, get, we caught it. We got him. Don says big gators often pop up in this small lake, but this one began getting comfortable on their backyards, eating the neighborhood ducks and some dogs that went missing. So last week he called FWC to set up traps and called them first thing this morning when he saw the traps worked. Our cameras were there when a group of about four FWC gator trappers showed up. Big old gator early in the morning. Nervous neighbors with their phones out and on Facebook Live watched as the trappers wrestled with the rolling gator, ultimately putting it down. One trapper telling me they can't relocate any gator over four feet anyways. 11-3. This one was way bigger than that. I'm glad they caught him. You know, I hate he has to go, but he's a big joke out here in this little lake. So I don't know if you heard that, but they measured the gator to be 11 feet three inches big. It's a huge bull gator as they call him. Now we asked FWC for a response for an official response when it comes to the capture and the protocol of how to handle gators like this and we're still waiting to hear back. Lisa. Incredible sight there. Nadine Yanis reporting live for us. Thank you. And right now you can find a map showing where monster gators live in Central Florida. Just look for this story on our website on the homepage of clickorlando.com.